In this episode of Moi TV, I'm sharing the final part of my three-part special, which has been all about personal branding trends for 2020. This is how all of our behavior is set to change this year and how that's gonna have an impact and an effect on the way that photography looks. Let's go. Hey, welcome to the show. I'm Laura and this is Moi TV. If you take the look of your business seriously, then you should definitely think about subscribing. Here I share lots of trends and visual inspirations all centered around personal branding photography and headshots photography. Over the last two weeks, I have been carefully breaking down all of the different visual trends that are expected to happen over the year ahead. If you miss me talking about the big ideas when it comes to visual trends this year, you probably want to go and pause this episode and take a look here. Last week I did a deep dive on my particular favourite trend and you can go back and watch this episode right here. If you don't know me yet, then you need to know that I've had my own headshots photography business for eight years now. But prior to that, I had a whole past life working in marketing and public relations. So doing the research for this little collection and geeking out in depth on all of these different marketing science theorems and how that affects human behavior and then the final aesthetic has been a moment of swatty bliss for me. You can save yourself hours of research on this by watching these three episodes all condensed down into what you need to know for the year ahead. I want to get things started today by talking about ownership. Now this builds on beautifully from last week's theme which was all about a deep dive into behind the scenes and how I'm predicting that that's going to evolve over the next year. I like to think that this idea of ownership being a trend is actually a culmination of the few of the other ideas we've already explored. One of them around emotions, one of them around causes and the evolution of CSR that we're seeing in business branding and how that has a direct impact on people demanding what they want and then when they get it they feel like they own it and they have a say on the way that it then evolves afterwards. Now this is a beautiful idea if you are a small business owner and you're looking at trying to build your own personal brand. And this can be as easy from putting out regular questions and telling people that you've got a certain project in mind that is at its ideation phase and you want people to contribute and be a part of it growing and then documenting that growth into a final idea that instantly creates this big sense of ownership about the thing that you're about to launch and sell. It's actually much easier to do this when you're a small business because you know that if you make a decision, you can get it out there by the end of the day. In big business, it has to go through all these different departments, all these different gatekeepers, and then eventually to a decision maker who might take a month to decide. For the small business owner, this is also a great way to test something before you do all of the behind the scenes work on getting it out to market. It might be that you have an idea, you put it out there, you get a few people to test it, try it, tell you what they think, and it ends up being a bit of a waste of time and actually you need to make some tweaks before it goes to market. So you save yourself so much time. Next up, micro learning experiences. Micro learning is an industry predicted to go even bigger over 2020. People are becoming even more refined a niche in the way that they want to learn skills and acquire new knowledge. So if one of your New Year's resolutions this year is to learn how to mix even better cocktails, I am willing to bet that you would much rather go and have the in-person learning experience with that local master bartender instead of going out there, buying a book, buying all of the ingredients and having a bash at it yourself. With this wave of micro-focused experiential learning, a lot of marketing specialists are predicting that this will have an effect on product-based businesses. If you've been planning as a small business owner to release that specialized box that focuses on a particular piece of your service, 2020 is absolutely the year to do it. Did you know that I've created my own version of a micro-learning? experience. If you've got plans to dial up the documentation in your business this year, then I think you should definitely go and take a look at how to learn to love your selfie. The term 
boomer millennial a refusal to be categorized by age we already know that the baby boomer generation is probably the most rebellious generation alive today those beautiful hell racers have gone ahead and created their own grouping which has obviously shaken things up for marketers who love a good demographic stereotype think about a relative who is in their 50s or 60s and you know that they are an early adopter of all things tech they have more followers on social media than you and they are much better with their finances the millennial habits adopted by a much older demo. Now this is really interesting to me from a visual point of view. And if this is one of your target markets in a small business, you wanna make sure that you go out of your way to show this person in your marketing this year ahead. If you're watching this and you're in your 50s or 60s and you've got a new year's resolution to get yourself out there more, I definitely think you should take a look at signing up to your local model agency. There is a very strong chance that your beautiful self is gonna be in demand this year. I'd love it if you comment below with your feelings about all of the trends we've been looking at over the last few weeks and how you think this is gonna affect your small business this year. Continuous animation. I have been an avid lover of the joy that is the funny gif for years now. If you go and take a look at any of my blog posts, you'll get what I mean. I've noticed a little bit of a trend creeping in amongst some of the most savviest entrepreneurs I'm connected with online and in person who have their own small businesses. A few people have started being trailblazers by building their own catalog of gifts of themselves so that when they put content out on social media, they can further personalize it. This is a really powerful way to get your message across and kind of underline it and put it in italics. So if you're thinking about stepping things up this year and putting yourself out there more as an entrepreneur, doing a library of gifts is probably a great idea. We already talked about the idea of cut out product and deconstructed product photography and actually continuous animation of a deconstructed product or a product in GIF format is also going to be really big this year. So if you're a small business owner with a product, think about putting this on your website this year. Color! I have done a lot of research about colorways and color trends for 2020 when putting these episodes together. And actually, I think that the best way to describe it is that there are two very different schools of thought on this. We've already talked about cyberpunk colorways and the trend of the gradient coming in. And as bright as possible and as layered as possible is still going to be a really big trend for 20 20 but you want to remember that that trend is based through tech so on your youtube channel on your website potentially in store the other school of thought is all around going back to nature and going back to earth i went into a lot of detail about this a couple of weeks ago and if you are a small business owner and anything that you create is to do with the home, you want to make sure that you follow the trends set out by Dulux and Pantone this year. New Dawn is a very muted green and that has been chosen by Dulux this year to be their colour of 2020. Pantone just announced their colour of the year as classic blue and I actually like to think that when you put these colours together it looks an awful lot like planet earth from space. I think that this finally marks a really interesting point in time for us where we're all starting to take personal responsibility for the environment and it's getting into the zeitgeist now. It's going beyond politics and it's becoming part of our collective consciousness. So go into 2020 as a small business owner remembering that we want to stream lots of vivid colors and bright ideas into our lives but we want to live in a home that is based around nature so it's about that elective choice of turning it off and on you know where your business is so you need to adapt your colorways in 2020 to respond to this welcome to 2020 we are truly in an era of crazy wild tech clashing together with a sense of the natural world have a blessed and abundant year you beautiful beast Mwah. now before you go anywhere don't forget to subscribe Come